December 29th, 2014 from the Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium in Memphis, Tennessee was the Texas A&M Aggies versus the West Virginia Mountaineers. And so the Aggies, we get the ball first. They had it on their own 32. They would go three and out and punt from their own 40. Now the Mountaineers would take over on their own seven, and they would go three and out as well and punt from their own 11. So now Texas A&M would take over after the punt on the West Virginia 44 with about 12 minutes left in the first quarter. And Kyle Allen hit Josh Reynolds for a 44-yard touchdown to put the first score on the, the first points on the scoreboard with the score Texas A&M seven West Virginia zero. So now West Virginia would take over on their own 29 after the kickoff. They would get into Texas A&M territory and all the way down into the red zone. But then their drive stalled on the 15, and out would come Josh Lambert to attempt a 32-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the Mountaineers put their first points on the scoreboard, now trailing by four with the score, Texas A&M 7, West Virginia 3. So now Texas A&M would take over after the kickoff with still about a little less than eight minutes left in the first. They would go three and out on the possession, and they ended up punting from their own 28. So now the Mountaineers would take over on their own 42 with less than seven minutes left in the first. And they would get it into Texas A&M territory. And on third and nine from the 45, Skyler Howard hit Mario Alford for a 45-yard touchdown pass. And now the Mountaineers were in the lead by three with the score of West Virginia 10, Texas A&M 7. So now after the kickoff, Texas A&M would take over on their own 31. And K.J. Dillon intercepted the pass and ran it back 35 yards for the pick six. So K.J. Dillon intercepts Kyle Allen and runs it back 35 yards for the touchdown. And now the Mountaineers were up by 10 with the score. West Virginia 17, Texas A&M 7. So now the Aggies would take over on their own 11 after the kickoff with about five minutes still left in the first. They would get into West Virginia territory. They're faced with a 4th and 5 from the West Virginia 40. They elected to go for it. And on 4th and 5, Kyle Allen dropped back and he hit Trey Williams for a 40-yard touchdown. And now the Aggies cut the Mountaineers' lead to 3 with the score. West Virginia 17, Texas A&M 14. So now West Virginia would get the ball on their own 11-yard line after the kickoff with about a minute and a half still left in the first quarter. And they would get it into Texas A&M territory when Skyler Howard hit Jordan Thompson for a 43-yard reception. They would make it a first down on the Texas A&M 29. Their drive stalled on the 23, and out came Josh Lambert to attempt a 40-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the Mountaineers extended their lead to 6 with the score West Virginia 20, Texas A&M 14. And that brought the first quarter to a close. So now to begin the second quarter, Texas A&M would have the ball on their own 40 after a 33-yard return on the kickoff by Trey Williams. And they would get it into West Virginia territory all the way into the red zone. They had a second and one from the West Virginia 11. And Kyle Allen dropped back and he hit Malcolm Kennedy for an 11-yard touchdown. And now Texas A&M was in the lead by one with the score. Texas A&M 21, West Virginia 20. So now West Virginia would take over on their own 48 after a 34-yard return on the kickoff by Mario Alford. They were then faced with a second and seven from the Texas A&M 49, and Skyler Howard dropped back, and he hit Kevin White for a 49-yard touchdown pass. And the Mountaineers were back in the lead by six with the score of West Virginia 27, Texas A&M 21. So now the Aggies would get the ball after the kickoff on their own 34 with about 12 minutes left before halftime. But after four plays, they would end up punting from the West Virginia 47. So now West Virginia would take over after the punt on their own 17 with about nine and a half minutes left in the second quarter. And they would end up bringing the ball into Texas A&M territory. But then on second and 23, Skyler Howard was sacked by Tommy Sanders. And that brought him back to the West Virginia 42. And they ended up punting from the 45. So after 11 plays, they punted from the West Virginia 45 their own 45 and now the Aggies would take over on their own 10 with a little over four minutes left in the second quarter they would bring the ball to midfield and into the red zone and they got 
faced with a third and seven from the West Virginia 14, and Kyle Allen took it in himself with a 14-yard touchdown run, and that put the Texas A&M Aggies back in the lead by one with the score, Texas A&M 28, West Virginia 27. So now West Virginia would take over at the 50 after the kickoff after a 50-yard return by Mario Alford. A lot of great returns in this game. They're then faced with a third and eight from the 48. Skyler Howard was sacked by Deshaun Hall. And then that brought the first half to a close. So the final play was a sack. And after one half of play, the score was Texas A&M 28, West Virginia 27. So now to begin the second half, West Virginia would get the ball first. They had on their own 34, and they would go three and out and punt from their own 41. So now Texas A&M would take over on their own 35 with 14 still left in the third quarter. They would get all the way to the West Virginia 8-yard line, but they weren't able to get it into the end zone, and Josh Lambeau would come out to attempt a 26-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the Aggies extended their lead to four with the score. Texas A&M 31, West Virginia 27. So now West Virginia would take over after the kickoff on their own 19, and they would end up punting from their own 18 after going 3 and out. Now the Aggies would take over on their own 46 with 10 and a half still left in the third. And they would get the ball all the way to the red zone. It was first and 10 from the West Virginia 18. And Trey Williams took it in 18 yards for the touchdown. And it was now Texas A&M 38, West Virginia 27. So now the Mountaineers would take over on their own 25 with a little less than 8 minutes still left in the third. They would bring the ball up to the 34. It was third and one. And Skyler Howard hit Kevin White for a 45-yard reception. Made a first down on the Texas A&M 21. They did get another first down, but they weren't able to get in the end zone. And so out would come Josh Lambert to attempt a 31-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. It was now an 8-point game with the score. Texas A&M 38, West Virginia 30. So now the Aggies would take over on their own 27 after the kickoff with five minutes still left in the third. They'd bring the ball to midfield and into West Virginia territory all the way to the red zone. They were then faced with a first and goal from the nine. Kyle Allen dropped back. He hit Malcolm Kennedy for a nine-yard touchdown. And it was now a 15-point lead with the score. Texas A&M 45, West Virginia 30. So now the Mountaineers would take over on their own 25 with less than half a minute left in the third. They would bring the third quarter to a close with a, a loss of one yard on second and ten. And so after three quarters of play, the score was Texas A&M 45, West Virginia 30. So now to open up the fourth quarter, it was third and 11 from the 24 for the Mountaineers. They had an incomplete pass, and so they went three and out, and they would end up punting from their own 24. So now Texas A&M would take over on their own 43. They would go with three and out, and they ended up punting from their own 42. So now the Mountaineers had the ball back on their own 43. And they ended up with a third and 10 from the Texas A&M 44. Skyler Howard dropped back to pass. He had Kevin White for a seven-yard reception, but then he fumbled it. It was forced by Floyd Raven Sr. And Devontae Harris recovered the fumble for the Aggies. And so now Texas A&M had the ball on their own 37 with about 13 minutes left to play in this game. They went three and out and ended up punting from their own 45. So now West Virginia would have the ball on their own 20 after the punt with less than 12 minutes left to play, down by 15. They would get the ball into Texas A&M territory. They're then faced with a third and two from the 13. They picked up a yard. So now it's fourth and one on the 12, but a false start would move them back. And so now it was fourth and six from the 17. They elected to go for it, and an incomplete pass would turn the ball over on downs as Armani Watts was there to break it up. So now Texas A&M would take over on their own 17 with 8 minutes left in the 4th. They ended up punting though after 6 plays from their own 41. So now West Virginia would get the ball back, backed up against their own end zone after the punt with the ball on their own 9 yard line with just over 4 minutes left to play down by 15. They would end up bringing the ball up to midfield. They were faced with a 4th and 10 from their own 43. They elected to go for it and Skyler Howard ran 18 yards for the first down to the Texas A&M 39. Then Wendell Smallwood ran it 35 yards all the way down to the four-yard line. It was first and goal, and Skyler Howard hit Elijah Wellman for the four-yard touchdown. And it was now an eight-point game with the score Texas A&M 45, West Virginia 37. So now after the kickoff, Texas A&M would take over on their own 25, and they would just give the ball to Tra Carson. 
and he picked up a yard and then six and now it's third and three from the 32. West Virginia was burning their timeouts. They had one left at this point. And on third and three from the 32, Kyle Allen hit Malcolm Kennedy for a 21-yard reception that made a first down in West Virginia territory at the 47. They then give it back to Carson and West Virginia to use their final timeout with about a minute and a half left to play. And now with second and eight from the 45, they just gave it back to Carson. He picked up a couple. They gave it to him again. He lost a couple. And now with just seconds left, they took the victory formation in fourth down, and they brought the game to a close. So the final score in the Liberty Bowl, Texas A&M 45, West Virginia 37. As the Aggies come from behind to win this one, they were down you know, after the first quarter, 20 to 14. At one point, it was 17 to 7. But then, going into the locker rooms at halftime, they had taken the one point lead and they never trailed after that as they ended up dominating through the second half. So, the Aggies come on strong in the final three quarters and they win the Liberty Bowl. And in this game, for Texas A&M, Kyle Allen was 22 for 35. He had 294 passing yards, four touchdowns, and an interception. He also had 10 carries for 33 yards and a touchdown on the ground. So five total touchdowns for Kyle Allen. And for West Virginia, Skylar Howard was 20 for 45 with 346 passing yards and three touchdowns. He also had 10 carries for 33 yards as well. And the leading rusher in this game was Tra Carson. He had 25 carries for 133 yards for the Aggies. And for the Mountaineers, Wendell Smallwood had 8 carries for 77 yards. And the leading receiver in the game was for West Virginia, Kevin White. He had 7 receptions for 129 yards and a touchdown. Jordan Thompson had 3 receptions for 84 yards. And Mario Alford had 3 receptions for 57 yards and a touchdown. Alfred also had four kick returns for 134 yards, including a 50-yard return. And the leading receiver for Texas A&M was Malcolm Kennedy. He had seven receptions for 82 yards, including two touchdowns. Josh Reynolds had five receptions for 80 yards and a touchdown. And Trey Williams had two receptions for 46 yards and a touchdown. And Speedy Knoll had two receptions for 24 yards. And Ricky Seals-Jones had one reception for 21 yards. And Trot Carson had a reception for 20 yards as well to go along with his 133 yards rushing. The only interception was for K.J. Dillon of the Mountaineers. But in this game, Texas A&M just kept putting up the points, and they did not let up as they end up winning the Liberty Bowl with the final score, Texas A&M 45, West Virginia 37.